This is iTech Everything, and in this video, I'm going to be updating my PowerBook G4 from OS 10.4 Tiger up to OS 10.5 Leopard. Let's get started. Alright, so as you can see, I'm running Mac OS 10.4.11, and it's time to upgrade to Leopard. Now, before I start the video, I just want to say I did a hardware tour on my PowerBook G4. I'll put a link in the video description to the hardware tour. So if you want to see a full in-depth tour of this laptop, all the specs, all the ports, and just a general overview of it, just click the link right in that video description. Now that being said, let's go ahead and get into upgrading to Leopard. There we go. So I'm not sure if you can see that well, but right there it says install Mac OS 10. So let's go ahead and give that a double click. So it says click the button below to restart your computer and begin the installation process. Alright, let's restart. Alright, so finally we're into the installer. So let's select English as the main language. Preparing for installation, it says. It says, Welcome, Mac OS 10 Leopard Installer. To install Mac OS 10, click Continue, then follow the on screen instructions. To quit, choose Quit Installer from the installer menu and click Start Disk. Read the following information before you install Mac OS X. Okay, now I'm not going to be reading any information. Now, um, what I want to do is actually wipe this hard drive before I install Leopard. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, we'll go up to the menu bar. We'll hit Utilities. I'll then go on to Disk Utility. As you can see, the disk is firing away in that burner. Alright, so it's opening Disk Utility, and from there I'll be able to wipe the hard drive clean, ready to install Leopard. Alright, so as you can see, 74.5 GB Fujitsu, that's the hard drive we want to wipe here. Then I want to go into Arrays, just click that. Mac OS Extended Journal, yeah, that's what we want. And I'll call this uh, Macintosh hard drive. So we'll highlight that, I'll backspace it, then we'll call it Macintosh. HD. Uh, we'll go ahead and click Erase. Don't really need any security options, to be honest. Yep, Erase. Alright, it's firing away. And as you can see, it's erased. So we'll go ahead and close out from disk utility. And we'll just hit continue for the installation of Mac OS X. Hit agree. So then we'll just click Macintosh hard drive and hit continue. We'll then go to customize. No, I don't want printer drivers. I don't want additional fonts and I don't want language translations. So there we go. That's just a tip if you want to save space in your hard drive. You don't really need to install gigabytes on gigabytes of printer drivers and other languages when all you speak is English. We'll then hit install. And it will go ahead and install Leopard onto my PowerBook G4. As you can see, it says checking installation DVD. Um, my DVD is good, so we'll go ahead and skip this part. And we'll get right onto installing Leopard. So right now, it's almost done. It says about a minute. This has been going for about half an hour, I'd say. 
Install succeeded. Mac OS X was installed on your Macintosh hard drive volume. Your computer must restart to complete the installation. Alright, so let's go ahead and click restart. Looks like we're getting an intro video. So I've just finished going through that setup process and now it's sliding up the desktop for the first time. There we go. So we can go ahead and pop out the disk. Then if we go into about this Mac, you'll see we are on Mac OS 10 version 10.5. So anyway guys, that just about wraps up the update video from Tiger to Leopard. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like as I really appreciate it. Drop a comment down below. Click subscribe right above. And uh, if you haven't already, check out the hardware tour I did. I'll drop a link right below in the video description. And uh, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash iTechEverything. See you guys next time.